talking. I'm an education and physical education specialist, and today we're going to do ball X. Exercises with balls. I'm going to use tennis balls, and I'm going to use just a very multi-purpose ball. It could be a soccer ball, it could be a net ball, whatever you have at home. So go and grab a ball. If you don't have a tennis ball and another one, just have one ball in your hand, and that's a little bit of warm-up with different arm movements and stretches. Then we're going to do some throws and catches, bounces, rolls, and at the end we're going to do some balancing challenge using a ball. Are you ready? one that is bigger, easier to control, and more bouncy. Right, talking of bounces, we're going to start with bounces. The bouncing is very simple, that you don't tap the ball, you push the ball with your hand, try not to grab the ball, and just try to bounce it with your back hand. I'm right-handed, so uh, this is my right hand, I'm going to use that, okay? Do it a few times. And you remember, you always have to do everything with both hands when it comes to manipulative skills or everything, all the exercises to both sides just to have a good balance of your body. So let's try that with the other hand. How about try to balance the ball with two hands? Keep it in front of your body. Easy peasy. Now, let's do it in a more controlled way gonna bounce the ball four times with the left four times with the right hand four times with both hands and again left four right four both four are you guys ready start with your left hand and go one two three other hand one two three both hands one two three again left hand four right hand hand last time one two three other hand one two three both hand i'm going to challenge you this time while we're bouncing the ball try not to look at the ball feel the ball with your hand and i'm going to show you numbers on my fingers and you have to call them out loud and see if you can bounce the ball and look at my hand at the same time are you guys ready you can just do one hand bounces this time and go. Bounce with me. Can't hear you. What number do you see? Still go up. Well done. 
done. Let's try that with your other hand. Now I'm going to make it even more challenging because I'm going to use both of my hands to show you numbers. Are you guys ready? And bounce the ball. Keep going. Try not to stop bouncing the ball. Don't look at the ball, look at my hands. Carry on, I'm going to be tricky this time. Okay, almost finished. And the very last time, let's see what comes up. Okay, how's that? Eight, well done guys, perfect. Okay, how about trying to bounce the ball around your body? So now instead of turning around, what I'd like you to do is to face forward and you try to go around the world without losing the bounce of the ball. Let's try it again. My ball is a bit funny, but I think I figured out if I don't push it too hard, I can complete that around the world. Let's try that other way around this time. Because I never managed properly, I'll try that again. You can go for it again. And go. We can do different, different body movements while we're bouncing the ball. Let's try balancing on one leg. And switch over to the other hand and to the other leg. Right. This time, what I'd like you to do with me, we're gonna go down and up, down and up while we're bouncing the ball. So when you go further down, obviously you will have to bounce the ball faster. When you go higher up, then you bounce the ball slower. Let's try that together. Can you see little bounces? And as we go up, more and more slow bounces. Let's try it with the other hand. Go down, 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 and up. Well done. You can replay this video over and over and try this again. I'm just going to give you more and more ideas. How about while we're bouncing the ball, we're going to do different body positions. Okay, so let's start and you're just mirroring me. Whatever I'm doing, you have to try to do sitting down. Try to bounce the ball in between your legs. Change it over to the other side. In between your legs and the other side. Forward. Reach as far as you can. Other hand. And try to stand up. Yes. Alright, so you can try that again if you want. When you replay this video, bouncing all the way down, sit down, you can even go on your tummy. Let's try that. So you have to go all the way down, you can even go to your tummy. Keep bouncing and try to change your hand. It's very good for the back as well because then you have to keep the ball going while you work hard with your back muscles and then you come up. Well done. These are all bounces. You can also bounce the ball on your body, but obviously we don't have to do that now. Maybe a next time. Other skills that we can do is throw and catch. Nice and simple. The underhand throw is probably the best and easiest one, but we're gonna make it a bit more challenging. So while you're throwing the ball up and down, I also want you to clap your hand. After each time the ball leaves your hand, clap your hand. And now try to clap your hand two times. I'm sure now you what you know is going to be next. Try to clap your hand three times. Clap your hands around four times. Let's see. All right, you'll probably guess the more you have to clap, the higher you have to throw the ball. I've got some limits. So what I can do, I can go a little bit further down, 
And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. you can practice in your own time at your own space but now let's make a little challenge throw clap once throw clap twice throw clap three times clap four times three times two times one time so that's a whole sequence with throw and catch just to make it interesting one Your turn now. Let's try that again. Ready? Go. Nice. All right. What you can also do with these things, instead of clapping your hands, you can do different body positions while you're throwing and catching. Opa, I was going to clap. So throw and catch. Balance on one leg. Balance on the other leg. It's not easy. You can put your leg to the side. Just mirror me while we're doing that. That means you also have to try to not only look at the ball, but look in front of you. Okay, because when we play ball games, you often are not busy with the ball. If you're looking at the ball all the time, you can't see if you play a team, team sport, you have to look around. That's why ball acts and ball skills is very important. What you can also do with throw and catches, the same thing what we were doing with the bouncing, while you throw and catch, you can go down, try to go down to sitting, try to lie down, and sit up, and stand up. And of course, it's more difficult if you throw and catch with one hand, and you're doing the same activities. Lie down. And now try that with your other hand. And in the meanwhile, you can actually feel that you're working a lot with your abs as well. Ta-da! That was about throwing catches for today. But we can also do some other ball skills with the ball rolling. And while we're rolling the ball, we can also do different activities. For that, because I'm alone today, I'm going to use the wall. Because the wall will always roll the ball back to me. So the first thing is very simple. Just roll it with one hand. You have to roll it hard enough that it is going to come back from the wall to you. And then you can try that with your other hand as well. Oops, it wasn't rolling, it was throwing. All right, now make it more challenging. I'm going to roll the ball, but in the meanwhile, I'm also going to work on my glutes and my back. So roll the ball, comes back. Try to do it at least five times. Don't put your elbows down, keep your elbows away from the ground. That's very nice. And I can also use the rolling and catching for some stretches because the ball is going to come back. So I can just do my hamstring stretches and my bend, back bend forward while I'm rolling the ball onto the wall. Or I can roll the ball around my foot and behind my body to do my hamstring stretches. And my forward bends, I'm cheating a little bit, but it's okay if you can bend your knees, it's fine. But next time, I'm going to show you some activities with the ball for more conditioning exercise. Right, so we were doing bounces, we were doing throws and catches, and we were doing rows. Right, now what I'd like you to do for the last thing is that we're doing some balancing activities. Going back for a smaller ball again. And if you don't have a tennis ball, you can keep your ball with you. And we're going to challenge our brain. Right. So the first activity is very simple. 
throw the tennis ball from one hand to the other. But to keep control of the ball, you always have to look at the ball. Right. Now, if you want your eyes getting stronger, it's a very nice activity that you have to follow the ball with your eyes and try to throw it like a rainbow shape without moving your head. Try to follow the ball without moving your hand. If you have a bigger ball, it's a bit more challenging, but it's still doable, okay? Don't move your head while you're throwing the ball, just move your eyes. Can you feel that it's actually working on your eyes? If you're strengthening your eye muscles, you're gonna be better at reading and writing. How about doing that in balancing? So this time, without just uh, doing this little eye movement, you can do throw the ball from one hand to the other and balance on one leg activity. It's more challenging now because when you're balancing, it's the cerebellum, which is the back part of your brain that is working. Okay? And now, try that by following the ball with your eyes. It's much more challenging. Oops! Take a little break. Now let's do that with the balancing on the other leg. So you just throw and catch, changing your hands. Try to look at the ball, move your eyes with it. Whew, that's very, very challenging. This time, turns on your toes and you have to pass the ball around your hips without losing your balance. Do it the other way around. Well done, guys. That's for it today for ball exercises and I'll see you next time.